guys and welcome back to a bit of a different video and I'll have to admit I feel very very awkward <laughs> it's odd having a camera sat on a tripod and just talking to it oh my lashes are touching my glasses um it's very odd I don't like it um but I said I would film the assumptions video for you all and um originally Tay was going to come and read them out but um I lost access to my Ask FM, so I managed to get back in, so I've got them now, but obviously I'm on my own because it's like a week later, but anyway, um, also I know a lot of you are probably um, wanting to know how GOAT is, because um, last week's weekly vlog was left um, with him just getting poorly, so he's still not better, um, but I will type a um, an update down below so I don't clog this video up with it, and um, I'm posting updates on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. But anyhow, 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 let's um, get into the assumptions. So this video has to be, well, should technically be filmed um, unedited, which is scary. Um, especially as I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder above you guys thinking, oh no, I look awful. But yeah, it's been a stressful week, so um, I'm not looking my best or feeling my best. But anyway let's crack on so i've got my phone um and i have seen some of them because obviously i saw them when i went back um when i had to regain access i had to check that it was the right account um so i have seen some but i i put a post on instagram like a little box which i got a couple in which i, I quickly didn't look at and then i've got the ask fm so i feel like i'll start with instagram because hopefully they'll be a bit nicer and that will um warm me up hang on oh my goodness now i've got to figure out how to get to them god <laughs> this is going well isn't it maybe i will have to edit this out no i won't i'll, I'll film it all um unedited. oh my goodness where is it hang on hang on ah here we go i found them there's only a few so this will be easy first one is Goatee isn't your dream horse, although he's mega lush anyway. <laughs> what, what one to start with? Yes, that's so mean and I feel so bad, but no, Goatee isn't my dream horse. Um, we kind of just fell with each other. Like I was riding him when he was a hunt horse and then didn't really particularly like him in all honesty. And the owner was... Um, then suddenly put him up for sale and I didn't have a horse and I was originally saving to buy a house and I spent all my money on goat um but yeah no my dream horse would be something a bit bigger I do feel quite big on goat sometimes and yeah I love him so much um and he's taught me so much but no he's not my dream horse sorry goji please don't watch this video um that you earn loads in the police <laughs> <laughs> um no <laughs> um i don't think it's any secret that public sector doesn't get paid as much as private sector and that is the truth i don't earn loads um i'm in a fairly well paid job i've worked hard to get where i am obviously you guys will know that i was a police officer before so i do now i'm a staff member i do a specialist role so i get paid more i guess than someone who is just doing an admin job in the police but i don't earn loads no i wish i wish maybe if my boss is watching i can get a pay rise no it doesn't work like that in the police either um so yeah sorry no <laughs> um next one your favorite discipline on go is dressage hmm I would say, is it? It's definitely not show jumping, I'll tell you that much. It's definitely not show jumping. I would say it's dressage up until after I've been cross country. If you ask me at the start, I'll be like, no, I hate cross country. Why am I doing this? It's not for me. And then if you ask me at the end of the cross country round, then I'll be like, I love it. <laughs> I think everyone's like that. Um, I do love dressage on him and I love the feeling... Um, particularly lateral work when it just clicks and you just slightly shift your weight and they move and it all looks very effortless and it feels effortless and that connection but then I also love that um out cross country like especially this year there have been a couple of times when 
we've been out on cross country and um, I felt him kind of wobble and I've sat and said go with my seat and he's trusted me and gone. That's what I love. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if it is my favourite. I don't really have a favourite. Dressage and cross country are up there. I don't particularly like show jumping. It really scares me. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Um, so I just, there are the few that I got on Instagram. The rest are all on Ask FM. I just opened it up. <laughs> the one that's waiting for me at the top is the one that I saw. Um, you will do anything to become Insta famous. No. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I actually hardly use Instagram anymore. Um, most of the time. Now I've started filming weekly vlogs. I am always talking to you guys. So I used to do Instagram stories before I started doing weekly vlogs. And then it's impossible to do both. And it seems really inauthentic to be saying one thing to my vlogging camera and then pick up my phone and say the same. Um, and I actually now hardly really even post photographs on it or anything on Instagram. Um, no. I mean, do anything to get YouTube famous, maybe. Maybe I'd have that one. I want to be YouTube famous. No, just kidding, just kidding. Moving on. Some people have got have been a bit cheeky actually and um, snuck some questions into the assumptions, but I'll answer them anyway. Um, because I'm such a nice person. No, no I'll answer them anyway. Um, does your mum ride or only you and Victoria? Uh, my mum used to ride when she was, I think before she had me, but never... Um, really like just happy hacking basically but no she doesn't ride anymore she's quite happy um cheering us on from the ground and living it through me and victoria um this is a question but why isn't toria with you on your new yard um basically where i am now um with ella there's only two stables so um there's no room for anyone else there's just brock ella's pony and goat here so that answers that one nice and easy you're rich, but you fake that you go to work. <laughs> yes. Don't actually work. This is all a lie. Um, I'm not... I'm not wearing a hand-me-down hoodie from Hannah. And those aren't my holy boots there because I can't afford to buy them. Actually, I have got a new pair of boots on that I bought second-hand off eBay. I really wish that was true. I wish I was rich, but sadly, I'm not. My credit card statement says otherwise. Why is Goat so cute? Ah, I don't know. He's really cute, isn't he? Sometimes I look at him and I'm like, you've got a funny little pea head for your body, but um, he's so, he is cute, he is cute. I think he's one of those horses that grow on you. He's got such a personality and um, everyone that works with him, like Farrier, Vets, Physio, they all get a soft spot for him. He's just got such a character. Um, yeah, he's a good egg. He's a good egg. Uh, Victoria is scared of being on camera. There's a lot about Victoria. You guys want to know the stuff about my sister. Guys, remember she's only 13? Is she 14? Oh God, I don't even know her age. Whoops. Um, I don't think she's scared of being on camera. I think she is shyer than I am. Um, she's never said to me, don't film me or anything like that. And if she did say that, and she did say that she didn't want to be in the vlogs, then obviously I would respect that and not do it. But she does like it um, when I put clips of her riding on there. And I always tell her the comments that people leave, um, the nice ones. I hope she hasn't had any mean ones, so it's fine. All the nice comments, I always um, tell her them and they make her smile. So I don't think she's scared. I just think she's a little bit shy. Um, and, but she's happy with the little cameo now and then. You're going to get a new horse. Oh, I'd love to get a new horse. Um, no disrespect to Goatee, I have kind of set myself the goal, um, oh it's scary saying this on camera, but one day I want to ride around a novice, <laughs> um, that's my long term goal and obviously Goatee will never, um, I would never put that pressure on him anyway, he's, he's not getting old, but he's done a lot in his time, he's got a lot of issues as we know, so, um, yeah, I would love to get another horse, but I'm not in a financial situation to be able to anytime soon, unfortunately. But in a couple of years, maybe. Um, I really hope so. Um, I have no intention of giving up horses. I can't see myself not having a horse in my life. And Goat is with me forever, just to clarify that. Um, even if I did get another horse, 
um, goat is going nowhere. He's with me for life. He's my soul horse. Um, guys, there's a lot on here about Victoria. Like, this is... <laughs> it's a bit mean, actually. I don't know if I want... To, it's actually really <laughs> annoyed me a little bit. Like, I did say on my Instagram, be savage, but that's about me. Um, it's not very nice to... I'm sure you didn't mean it that way, but... There's another one. Another one. This one is a bit mean. I, I, I don't even actually really want to... This is... This, look, I'm just scrolling down. Um... Hmm. I'm going to bundle these in together um, and then move on from the topic because I'm not going to keep talking about my sister as you can tell I'm getting a little bit <laughs> I said savage but not about my sister guys so one of them is um, I'm actually not going to read one of them because if Victoria watches this it's not fair um I'll skip that one. Um, you forced Victoria to get a horse and she didn't want to get one. No. Um, I didn't really have any involvement in that at all. Um, it was her decision. She made the decision about giving up Colby. And she made the decision about getting another horse. She's not under any pressure. And it was, it still is, um, very much her choice if she wants to have a horse or not. And if she changes her mind, then... Um, I can always put some work into socks and we can sell her on. So yeah, no, she's under no pressure at all to have a horse or anything like that. But she absolutely loves socks and she is, um, it's just so nice to see. She has got her passion back. She um, is wanting to go up to the stables every day. She's riding every day. She rode in the rain. Like when, when she had Colby, it was a little bit like any excuse and she'd be like, nah, not riding. Because she was worried, basically, if it was rainy or windy, old Colby might spook or, you know, things like that. Whereas with Socks, because Socks is so good, um, she's out there in all weathers. It's lovely to see. Um, so, yeah, I'm not answering any more about Victoria. Let's move on. <laughs> you're too scared to compete in BE. Firstly, you spell you're wrong. It's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. <laughs> oh, and no, I'm not scared to compete in VE. I did a full season of VE on GOAT the 2018. Yep, and then last year, obviously, um, I had my accident. We did one VE, um, Stratford Hills, and then this year, um, I wasn't even going to event him anyway, and coronavirus. So, um, we just did unaffiliated, and we actually did do one VE at Board Hill when we got our regional final tickets. So, not true but quite honestly i am not in a financial position to be able to afford to spend over 100 pounds on an event um my budget for training and competing would only allow me basically to then do one event a month i would much rather run unaffiliated um and which is half the price and then i can do two for the price of one basically so yeah not true uh I assume that Goat takes most of his confidence from the rider. Yes. Jumping wise, definitely. Which is why I think we have a little bit of these ditch issues. Because I'm not 100% confident um, with them. I was be like, because of all the issues that we've had. But yes. He I think sometimes people think that he is just a point and go horse. But he's really not. Um, you have to ride and keep him together. And ride every single stride and he needs you to hold his hand which is what i was saying earlier on in the video when i said that feeling when he has that little wobble out on cross country and i just wrap my legs around him and say it's all right Cody, we got this and then he goes it's the nicest thing you set yourself goals that are hard to reach probably um i'm very goal driven um very motivated always pushing myself um for like the next thing career wise riding wise um i don't think they're too far to reach i think they're like riding around a novice one day is within my ability if i keep working at it um i set myself the goal of riding go at elementary we got there so no i don't think they're too hard to reach they're definitely hard but they're not too hard they just take a bit of time and i like that i always need to have something to work towards 
you wished you lived somewhere warm. If you'd asked me that in the summer, I'd have said no, because I hated the heat and it was so dusty and I was like, please rain, please rain. And then now it's rainy and cold. I'm like, why did I complain? So I, I actually really like living in the UK and um, I have said this a lot that I would never um, move abroad or anything like that. So yeah. <laughs> these assumptions are getting worse as I go down the list you guys um negative comments upset you no not about me about my sister as you'll have probably seen yes I'm very protective and very loyal um I can take anything but mess with my family and all my friends and it does it gets under my skin a little bit you worry too much what other people think. No, um, I don't think I do. I'm quite um, an outspoken person. I say it how it is. I'm not worried about offending people um, or doing, like, not going along with the crowd. I'm not really a sheep as such. Um, I kind of just keep myself to myself. But I don't worry. I mean, when I was... Um, going through my eating disorder definitely yes um i'll be honest i got very wrapped up in how others would view me and um thinking they're going to be like the thoughts trigger warning trigger warning trigger warning if you're suffering from an ed skip this part um i would go through thoughts thinking um they're all they're looking at Catherine thinking she's put on weight or they're going to be thinking Catherine hasn't made an effort today Catherine looks a mess Catherine shouldn't be wearing that like that is the, the thought process that I would be having but I'm in a much better place with that now don't get me wrong I did put some makeup on for this video um because it's scary being sat in front of a camera but I don't think I worry too much about it you're not as confident as you appear on camera I think if you asked my friends, they'd probably say I am. <laughs> I'm quite an out there person. Um, I always, throughout my career and given the things that I've done, I always refuse to be intimidated or feel scared of other people. I think everybody on this planet is an equal, um, regardless of how big you shout, how your appearance or what rank you are in the police, for example, or if you're royalty, I think everyone's an equal. So I refuse to be um, intimidated by people. So I wouldn't say that I'm, I would be confident talking to anyone, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, some, I mean, doesn't everyone get a little bit scared when you're ringing people up sometimes? <laughs> I think that's normal, you know, when you ring, when, are you, when um, when you become an adult for the first time and you have to ring the doctors for yourself. Once you're over that, then you're fine. Uh, you feel the need to do for things for others so they'll like you. No. I don't care if people like me or not. I can count my friends on, like, my fingers. Um, I don't have a big group, um, like a big friendship group. I have friends that I've picked up along the way and they are all amazing and yeah I don't feel the need to do things so they're like me um I'm quite happy with my little close-knit friends and yeah you make friends easily um yeah I I would say I am yeah I think so I think so oh my god I'm at 20 minutes I need to I need to hurry this up um Oh my goodness, there's loads. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you make friends easily. Yeah, I think I'm quite an approachable person. And obviously when I was a police officer, um, one of, I think, the best skills of being a police officer is being able to talk to anyone and being able to get on someone's level. So I guess that kind of transfers into being able to making um, friends. You rarely see yourself as pretty. True. <laughs> I am really mean to myself um, and this is all linked in um, to obviously um, my eating disorder and things like that um, but yeah I do or I don't know if I, I probably did probably still do suffer with a bit of body dysmorphia and um, I don't see my I pull myself apart basically and then that moves then on to the next one is you are your own worst critic and that is very true I 
criticize myself a lot i hold myself to very high standard and when um i don't get it especially in my riding i beat myself up so yeah it's something that i'm working on you prefer animals to people who doesn't <laughs> I love my horse and I would much rather be down here with him than in a nightclub, in all honesty. Um, yeah, I prefer animals to people and I've said this before, um, goat can't cheat on me guys because I lock him in his stable every night and he loves me because I feed him. So much simpler than people. You push yourself hard to do everything perfectly. Um yeah maybe not perfect yeah 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 okay i'll have that yes yes i do you try hard to reach people's expectations of you um no i don't think i reach i try hard to reach other people's expectations because i'm always trying to reach my own really high expectation um yeah you wish you had an equestrian job um no yes and no um i would love to do something with horses but then i worry that i would get burnt out and i wouldn't enjoy um my own time with goat and it doesn't pay enough but if it was well paid and i would be guaranteed to have enough time with goatee then yes i would you what happened in your breakup <laughs> this is assumptions not questions guys um what happened in my breakup well it's not really fair for me to say um the full details because obviously that's a bit disrespectful to my ex um oh, i'm trying to think of a way that i could summarize it it's not really a way basically it ended we, it dragged out i was a bit of an idiot i had love goggles on you know when you you know you just start settling for less and letting yourself be walked over a little, a little bit and um, there was some miscommunication and it ended really badly basically the end um, moving on quite literally you are protective over goat as he has been mistreated by previous owners um, I don't think he's been mistreated as in abused but I don't think that um, he's ever had the level of um care that i have given to him um he's never i'm fairly certain that he's never been abused but obviously being a racehorse being a hunter um he did get his body has had a bit of a thrashing and i don't think um he was cared for at the level that i care for him such as physio and all the work that i put in and the supplements and things like that but i am very protective over him you were more spoiled than victoria at her age Ooh, um, I don't think I was. No, I wasn't. Victoria's more spoiled than me. I had weekly chores. I had to like change all the beds in the house and um, all of. Okay, we got to thirty minutes, and um, my camera only films in thirty-minute clips, so I haven't edited this, guys. Just press the record button again. There's only a couple more left, so this is the world's longest video. And if you've made it this far, I'm really, really impressed. <laughs> Okay, you, where was I? Oh, you were more spoiled than Victoria at her age. Victoria's more spoiled than me because I had to, um, like, do weekly chores, like changing the beds. I used to clean the bathroom. Like, I had to work um, for um, having a horse, basically. And Victoria's the youngest, and I think the youngest always gets the better end of the deal. Um, there's me, my brother, and then my sister. Um, obviously, there's a big age gap between me, my brother, and my sister. But yeah, she doesn't have any weekly chores. Um, she lives a life of luxury. And I was actually working. I got my first job when I was 13 or 14 in a hairdresser's. I've worked ever since. Um, I like washing hair and things like that. Um, so yeah, Victoria's the lucky one, not me. You are non-judgmental and unproblematic. Um, I would like to say that I am, but I'll be honest, I don't think anyone can say that they're non-judgmental, you can't help it, it's human nature, you do judge people on things, and I try to keep myself in check with that, and I'm aware when I'm doing it, I'm fairly unproblem unproblematic, um, I don't like drama, I say it how it is, don't do bitchiness, I don't do talking behind people's backs, 
just have a conversation with people let's get it over and done with um i'm not about that uh i think this is the last one i think you've been betrayed in the past and only trust very certain people but you are kind to everyone yes I have been cheated on in every relationship that I have been in. Um, I felt betrayed by some family members before. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not playing, I'll get my little violin out and play me a sob story now. But yes, I have been um, betrayed in the past. And I do only trust certain people now. And um, I definitely think moving forwards i would find it hard to trust another man again after what i've been through um but like i said earlier in the video i do have a very um like close friends like all like they're not a friendship group like i have a lot of close friends and i trust them all and they i speak like yeah i can't talk now but yeah kind to everyone i hope so i try to be i try to be um i speak about this i spoke about this a lot in therapy um and i went through a phase where i thought it was um cool to kind of what's that oh i thought someone was coming past him um i thought I thought it was a good thing to have um, a resting bitch face and to have kind of this wall up um, and I would actively encourage that because I didn't want to get hurt again in any aspect of my life um, and I had some mean things said about me um, and I thought well if they're going to say that then it's easier just to go along with it and I worked really hard in therapy talking about this and it's not the person that I want to be. I know I'm not that person. Um, I don't care. I shouldn't really care what other people think of me. I know I'm not that person. I try to be kind to everyone. And I'd like to think that people who know me um, in real life agree. So yeah, that's a wrap. I think we're up to like over 30 minutes so I'm so sorry if you've made it this far then um drop me a comment down below I should have said at the start get a cup of tea maybe I'll put that on in writing but yeah um I'm gonna wrap this up here guys and I might film a weekly vlog this week I'll see how things go I've just been feeling a bit stressed but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video and um let me know what you thought it's scary